Mr. Speaker, honorable members, the security situation. This particular paragraph, I'm presenting it with a heavy heart. At a time when government is trying to develop, then some people want to bring the government down. The leader of the Salon delegation at the ECOWAS Parliament, Honorable Veronica Kadisi, say, inside one big meeting at the ECOWAS Parliament in Abuja, Nigeria, this BNTM, take the stage for present Salon situation report to other MP them with presence at the plenary. This is not same way other countries themselves been done given the situation of the country. And as you hear, Honorable Veronica Kadisi say, been get more serious for talk about the security situation in the Salon. After the November 26 incident, we see the country skate from peace to unrest, caught and engaged as to waiting will happen next. We will see now in the country. In the early hours of Sunday, the 26th of November 2023, a group of unidentified armed elements attacked the main military barracks in Freetown, close to the presidential lodge and reportedly ransacked the armory and resorted to indiscriminate shooting across the city, thereby obstructing the peace and tranquility of our ordinary compatriots, which culminated to a break of the maximum prison to free inmates, including hardcore criminals. It is now very clear that it was an attempted failed coup d'etat. But what is glaring so far is that the government of Sierra Leone, headed by His Excellency, the President, Dr. Julius Madabio, is in full control of the state and the situation. As you hear, after the security challenge where the country go through and still they try for well from, Honorable Sisi make them clear, say the President, Julius Madabio, still they in full control of the country and that efforts them then now for maintain the country in peace as he carry on for explain the measure them. The government don't they work on for see Saloon in peace as how it be known day. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, Sierra Leone continues to make significant progress in its democratic and security governance, as well as building robust safeguards geared towards protecting efforts aimed at enhancing national cohesion and unity, growth, development, development and national, and national security. In, the tw in 2023, Global Peace Index, Sierra Leone scored 1.7 as the most peaceful country in West Africa, second in Africa, and 47th position in the world. But as all this they be, still Salon gets other security challenge them. We in the face and the border area them, as according to Honorable Veronica Kadisi say, people they smuggle team them come inside Salon and save out of Salon. We this can affect revenue and save the Guinea so German them. We don't come build based on the Salon area. Now some part them at the border. We don't affect Salon people and them area them yeah. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members. Through porous, porous and illegal crossing points along the borders, there is a large scale, there is a large scale smuggling of essential commodities. Apart from the shortage, the shortage that results from smuggling the scarce, the scarce essential commodities from the country, the practice undermines, undermines local revenue generation drive. In addition to acts of intimidation and harassment of border communities and commuters, Guinea Armed Force, Guinea Armed Forces personnel continue to commit frequent and widespread encroachment and annexation of Sierra Leone's territory after erecting a beacon at Yenga in Kailaun District, Eastern Sierra Leone in February 2023. They have commenced construction of a military barracks on the, dis on the disputed land since May 2023, thereby reinforcing their claim of ownership of that stretch of land, of the territory of Sierra Leone. They are uncontrollable, raising their military profile in Yanga and other places along the border, creating tension, fear, and insecurity in those communities. They further raise their military profile in Yanga 
and other places along the border, creating tension, fear, and insecurity in those communities. The leader for the Salon delegation of the ECOWAS Parliament, Honorable yeah. Veronica Kadisi, say, carry on for talk about different other crime them, where he said on the happen, like illegal fishing, illegal migration, illegal mining, drug trafficking, and plenty other one them, we involve other country them, but don't they affect the peace of Saloon and other development area them. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, there is a growing problem of transnational organized crime, ranging from human trafficking, illegal migration, illegal logging, illegal fishing, illicit mining, and cultivation and trafficking of marijuana, narcotics, and restricted medical drugs. Other organized crime threats include smuggling of essential commodities, piracy, and robbery at sea, armed robbery, money, money, mobile money fraud, data mining, and symbox fraud, etc. Sierra Leone continues to face the challenge of the proliferation of small arms and light weapons that are either locally manufactured or smuggled into the country, mainly through porous border crossing points. Also, there have been interceptions of conventional weapons in the possession of unauthorized persons. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, meanwhile, the government of Sierra Leone continues to push forward diplomatic options aimed at amicably resolving Guinean administration and encroachment on Sierra Leone's territory. As he will end in report, Honorable Veronica Kadesi say make them clear, say the Salon government don't they work for make sure say them settle the border issue with Guinea as party them and say for look inside the plenty other issue them but don't they affect the country. For Black TV Online, Mina Abdullah Gla.